Good morning. A few people have said that they're struggling with the end of unit assessment. Um, that's not totally surprising. Just dealing with central ideas, it seems to be something that students struggle with over time. Um, so when we talk about central ideas, when we talk about any text, you have to think back to almost childhood stories, and every story has a moral. So everything, everything you read and the situations you read about, you're supposed to be learning real life lessons from. Now, it may not always be a moral lesson, like look both ways before you cross the road. Um, sometimes, as I've said before, it helps us better figure out how the world works, or why people do the things they do, um, or good and bad characteristics. Some of the oldest stories deal with that, as far as myths and legends were meant to teach people how to behave appropriately and to behave well to be a good person. Um... So, when we're talking about central idea and we're talking about the palace thief, we're looking at key details, things that repeat over and over again um, in Hundert's life that help us better understand true things about the world or true things about human nature. Uh, so, what strengths and weaknesses did Sedgwick, uh, not Sedgwick, what strengths and weaknesses did Hundert possess and why? Um, when given the opportunities, to do the right thing, we see that he struggles with that. You have to understand why that is. And when he does finally overcome that towards the end, you also need to understand what it took for him to overcome it and how it changed him by the end. Uh, what did he learn and recognize that made him speak up at the campaign trail? And how did that lead him to write the story? So, understanding things about that should help you with central idea. Email me if you've got any other questions.